These players have a bright, bright future in the game of football. So, let's put them all in the team together and see how they do. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u7buy.com and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title, we are here with another FIFA 21 challenge video. So today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and build a team and we will be playing the game with it. But the main focus of the video is building and picking this team that we're actually going to use. So as you can tell by the title, today we are building a future Ballon d'Or team. So if you don't know what the Ballon d'Or is, if you're living under a rock and you don't actually properly follow football, you just play FIFA, I guess. The Ballon d'Or is basically given to the best player in the world from the past year. So every year, someone gets given the Ballon d'Or. It's basically the best player from that year, gets a trophy and gets acknowledged for being so good. Most of the time, it is usually an attacker. So today, we're going to have to work through some defenders and think who could possibly get it. I mean, it's a lot harder for a defender to win it, but not impossible, but definitely a lot harder, especially when it comes to the defense or goalkeeper. Not the easiest thing to win. Over the past decade, though, it's been literally dominated near enough by literally two players, which is Ronaldo and Messi. But today, Today, we're going to look at the future and who we think could get a Ballon d'Or and throw them into a team and see how they can do together. So if you do enjoy the video, smash the like button and if you're new, subscribe. And also, let me know in the comments below three, your top three players that you think could win the Ballon d'Or or the Best Player in the World Award, whatever you want to call it, in the future. Or even just from this team, who do you think have the best chances of winning. Before we get into the rest of the video though, if you guys do enjoy this, let me know the next team you would like to see me build and use in a game of FIFA. Let me know the team in the comments below and the most liked one we will try and do as the next team before we get onto FIFA 22 or even when we get onto FIFA 22. But make sure you let me know in the comments below. Right, anyways, that's enough of me talking at the start of this. I think you guys kind of get the gist of what's going to go on. So let's switch over to FIFA and let's build this team. Okay then, goalkeeper of choice for this team. We have gone for Mr. Donnarumma, one of the best goalkeepers in the world currently, and he's literally, what, 21 or 22, I think, 22 years of age. Mental. The guy is literally 22, just won the player of the tournament in the Euros, which is pretty big. Like, Euros, I'd say the Euros is the second best international tournament behind the World Cup. That's just my opinion anyways. You guys might disagree, you might not, but let's be honest, it's facts. And Donnarumma obviously took home that award, and obviously recently transferred to PSG as well, but yeah, this guy's got definitely a bright future, and if there's any goalkeeper that could possibly win the Ballon d'Or in the future i feel like it's this guy on to the right back then i uh, this one was a little bit harder for me to choose you know you might be able to tell from the background i am a man united fan but i decided to go with mr trent alexander arnold i mean this guy's a baller however though i'm not gonna lie i don't really see this guy as a right back in the future i feel like he should be playing like in the midfield because his pass is ridiculous and he's, i don't think his defending is the strongest but still you can't deny the guy's got talent he's very very good his passing is ridiculous like his passing his crossing etc on the ball he is very good and i was debating between him and akimi but i feel like trent he's won the champion league recently and the premier league and he's not a bad player is he let's be honest joining him as the first center back in the center back pairing for this team we've got mr ruben diaz one of the best defenders in the world right now definitely i mean once again really really young and really really good for his age obviously had a very good season for city last year after signing and he's a big big key player for them and like i said it's hard in terms of choosing defenders whether that like he'll ever get to the level of a ballon d'or but choosing out of a bunch of young players that could possibly get that i feel like he's got to be in the conversation so i'll put him as one of the center backs for this team Best center back as you can see is mr upper Mercado, obviously recently transferring to bayern munich and i decided to go with him because once again pretty young just got to move to a pretty big team he's been talked about for ages now like the guy's been talked about like literally most top clubs in the world wanted this guy before he moved to bayern munich he has been pretty good over the last two to three seasons probably two seasons at least and like i said about diaz when it comes to center backs it's not the easiest to choose but he's got to be in the conversation for someone that could possibly get it in his position then linking to him on the left back a nice little strong link and definitely on the conversation mr alfonso davies like this guy is genuinely younger than me and he's absolutely incredible obviously last season he had a pretty big injury i believe so his stats from that season weren't as good as the season before but still the guy's got talent he is literally a perfect left back and definitely one of the best young left backs in the world right now 100 percent moving on to right wing i had to include this guy in this video i just had to i had to okay i just had to uh, as you probably saw Jaden sancho this guy's got talent i'm a big fan of him if you didn't know already obviously recently moved to manchester united and that makes me even happier i can't lie but a guy has got talent he is what 21 years of age i believe pulled massive numbers consistently over 
couple of seasons or maybe three seasons in the Bundesliga. The guy's been very, very good. Definitely has a bright future. I mean, whether he gets a Ballon d'Or in the future, might not do compared to some of these other players, but definitely has to be in the conversation. Then next to him, I decided to put Hyperlink in there because this guy is definitely hyped up. What is he, 17, 18 maybe now? 17, 18, one of the two, Jude Bellingham. What a baller this guy looks like. Like, honestly, considering he's English as well, makes me even happier to say this. Like, this guy looks like an incredible centre mid at the age of 17. From what I've actually watched of him when he's played, a very, very promising young centre mid. Joining him is another English player. Just realised we've got quite a few English players in here. Uh, yeah, I'm not, that's not bias, all right? These guys definitely have bright futures, okay? And also good cards on FIFA. But Mr. Phil Foden has to be in the conversation as well. I mean, I mean, if you ask any City fan, they will literally never speak a bad word on this guy. And I think majority of England fans nowadays would probably agree this guy has serious, serious talent. Probably out of everyone so far, probably has the best chance of getting to an award like this so far anyways that we've gone through. But Phil Foden, promising, promising future ahead of him 100% and definitely has to have a spot in this team. Okay, yeah, this is actually getting pretty ridiculous. I put another English player in here. I just realised that. But... This one, I think people are probably going to moan at me for, but you know, it's Rashford. Uh, I'm a fan, and I'm a Man United fan, and I kind of threw him in there because chemistry works as well. You know, I need a bit of chemistry to use in this team. So yes, Mr. Marcus Rashford in there. Obviously, probably one of the older ones actually so far in this team, but a good player. Let's be honest, he's a very good player. I, I just think he needs an injury-free season. See what he can do throughout the whole of it. Definitely a lot more to come from him in the future in his career. So he's got plenty of time, and he's definitely got a very good ability. He's a very good footballer. Let's see where it takes him. Will he get to a Ballon d'Or? I don't know if he will, but he's definitely got a good chance in terms of left wingers that are around right now. And then on to our first striker in the strike force. Probably one of the most talked about, if not the most talked about striker in the world at this current point in time. Maybe bar Ronaldo since he signed to United. Mr. Erling Blaut Haaland. This guy is just a born striker, born finisher. Anyone's dream striker, really. Like, it, like if you put this guy on your team, you know you're gonna, he's going to get goals. Obviously, burst on the scene in the last couple of years and has been prolific ever since he's actually started. His left foot's ridiculous and the guy's definitely got a big transfer coming to him this summer and I don't know where it's going to be but a lot if not all the top teams are after this guy and that already speaks volumes and then last but not least probably the guy that I'd say in this team that is closest to getting to a Ballon d'Or Mr. Kylian Mbappe we all know what Kylian Mbappe is about nowadays I mean literally two three years he's been incredible looking to actually get a move from PSG but alongside Messi could really really showcase him even more but I think like I said this guy's probably out of the whole team the closest to getting a Ballon d'Or, in my personal opinion, at the current stage in their career. So that wraps up the starting 11 for the team. Let's quickly run back through that once again. So in goal, we do have Mr. Donnarumma. Right back is Trent. Right centre back is Diaz. Left centre back is Upamecano. Left back is Alfonso Davies. Then right mid Sancho. Right centre mid Bellingham. Left centre mid Foden. Left mid is Rashford. Then right striker is Haaland. And left striker is Kylian Mbappe. And like I always do in like these kind of challenge videos, we always pick three subs. Let's go and choose three subs that definitely have a chance of getting there as well. So the three subs have gone for is Mr. Vinicius Jr. Then we've gone for Havertz and also another United boy, Mr. Mason Greenwood. Actually, this time we're going to throw in four subs because there's one guy that I feel like has to be involved in the conversation and that's Mr. Jesse Lingard. We've got to throw him in there realistically. The potential he has is just ridiculous, so he's got to be in there. Anyways, that is the team. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead buy the rest of the players that I don't have. Then we're going to get ourselves into a game of foot champions and see if the future Ballon d'Or team can get us a win. They should be able to, I mean. But you know, they're not fully developed right now, but they've definitely got enough talent to get us through to a win. So let me buy the team. I'll be back with you guys in a second when we go find an opponent. So, so see you guys in a second. All right, so we've got an opponent here. Let's advance on to see what his team's saying. Yeah, not rocking a bad team. I don't think anyone is at this stage of FIFA. He's got Luke Shaw right back, which is a bit questionable, but the rest of the team's looking pretty solid. Nani in there with his upgrade. He's got Renati Sanchez, Thiago Mendes, Richarlison, Phillips, Adama, Traore. He's got Diaz, Cancelo, Chilwell, Ariola. Ain't a bad team at all, is it? Let's be honest. But let's see what the future Ballon d'Or team can do. Can they bring us a victory and show us they've got what it takes? All right, let's do it, boys. Here we go. Mbappe to skin Luke Shaw, maybe. He's absolutely done him there. Can he chip over the keeper? Over the defender as well? No. Holland. Oh, my. that was close. Oh, Trent's letting me down on the defensive side, and it's a goal. Oh, how is this guy winning one? No, I don't know, but it's 1 0 to him. Let's see if we can bring it back. Hopefully, we can. Rashford back into Mbappe. Good ball. What a touch. Mbappe around the keeper. That was B E A beautiful. That's what we want to see. That is what we want to see. Oh, no. All right. Well, I don't know what to say. Don't really know what to say. I can't lie. Mbappe's through surely here. What a ball from Haaland. Ball on him again. Mbappe! 
what a mirror of a goal. Like, literally, what a ball from Haaland, can we just say as well. But Mbappe again. Ball roll. Easy dubs. Oh my god. Well, I've got a golden for Mikado. Doesn't really help in terms of FIFA wise. It's a little bit harsh on for Mikado. You know, he's not been bad. He's just a basic gold card. All right, there we go then. Half time. I'm not going to lie. The defense is letting us down a bit. You know, maybe they're not stepping up to the plate and they're not going to get an award playing like that. I'll tell you that. But we might make a few changes at half time, bring on a couple of the players. Let's see how it goes. We're going to bring on Havertz up top instead of Haaland because Haaland hasn't done too much. And we'll see how that goes. Ah, oh, oh, it's always up for Mikado. He's just getting bullied because he's a gold card, man. Come on, leave him alone. All right, we're going to make a change. Bellingham's going to have to go to the back or something because Diaz is not co uh, copping it at all. Havertz in the midfield and Vinicius Jr. is going to come up top. Let's just hope this can improve us. I'm not going to lie. Not been the greatest. Can he cause damage? Vinny Jr. He sent Diaz. And again. Oh, no. That's disgusting. That, that should be illegal. That should actually be illegal. That is absolutely disgusting. Trying to get Vinny Jr. at the pitch. Vinny Jr.'s made the run. Oh, he's rinsed Diaz again. Across goal. He's literally been on, I think, literally five minutes of in-game time. Maybe a little bit more. And he scored two. We're back in the game. Vinny Jr. for Ballon d'Or. That's what all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Well played, Foden. Fighting for that badge. Oh, that is disgusting, ref. Mbappe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Vinny Jr. Oh, no. Vinny Jr. <laughs> He's gone and scored a hat trick within like 10 to 15 minutes now of in-game time. What is going on? Vinicius Jr. What can he do? Into Mbappe. Mbappe's broke through. Havertz is in on the finesse. And that is what you call Ballon d'Or ball. And there we go. Down at half time, but the Ballon d'Or boys absolutely bring it back. Vinicius Jr. You know what? If FIFA was anything to go off, Vinicius Jr. is the next Ballon d'Or winner because that guy is ridiculous. But there we go anyways. That is going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. A little bit of a different video, like I said, building a certain team. If you guys would like to see any future videos like this, let me know the next team you would like to see me build in the comments below. Like I said in the start of the video, the most liked one we will try and do as the next video. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.